The Goodyear Inflataplane was an experimental inflatable aircraft developed in the mid-20th century by the Goodyear Aircraft Company, a subsidiary of the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Although best known for their blimps, Goodyear ventured into fixed-wing aviation with one of the most unusual aircraft ever conceived, an airplane made largely of air. The idea of inflatable aircraft dates back to the early 20th century when inventor Taylor McDaniel experimented with rubber gliders. After surviving a crash that claimed his partner's life, McDaniel began work on a safer aircraft using inflatable rubber tubes. He patented a design and successfully flew a rubber tube glider in 1931. His ideas inspired later developments, but the concept stagnated until the 1950s. In 1956, during the Cold War, Goodyear revisited the concept, developing the Inflataplane for the United States Army. The military envisioned it as a lightweight, portable rescue aircraft that could be airdropped in a 44 cubic foot container behind enemy lines. The aircraft could be inflated in about five minutes using air pressure maintained by its engine. Its unique structure, constructed from air mat, a layered rubber-coated nylon fabric reinforced by nylon threads, offered surprising durability. It could sustain multiple bullet punctures without losing shape, even over water and snow, thanks to adaptable landing gear. However, accidents during testing, most notably the fatal crash of Lieutenant Pug Wallace when a control cable failed, highlighted its vulnerabilities. The aircraft's light frame made it susceptible to overstress and mechanical failure. Despite building 12 units and exploring advanced prototypes with 100 horsepower engines and enclosed cockpits, the Army ultimately abandoned the project in 1959. Goodyear continued limited testing until 1972, but officially canceled the program in 1973. The material used, Airmat, also ceased production. Today, six known inflataplanes survive. They are housed in institutions including the Smithsonian Institution, the Franklin Institute, and the Ohio Historical Society. The inflataplane remains a fascinating example of Cold War innovation, an ambitious attempt to revolutionize aerial mobility with air itself.